Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I did just want to go ahead and wish all of you a happy Easter. This video will probably go up after Easter, but I did just want to go ahead and wish all of my subscribers and viewers a happy Easter. And today I'm just going to be doing a Kate Spade haul. I recently treated myself to a Kate Spade that was on sale, and I'm just going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so we're going to start by opening this up, obviously, and I'm just going to go ahead and get this open. Easier said than done. I just don't want to break my nails. like top packaging stuff and came with this Kate Spade um thank you for shopping with us and it's got the cute little spade at the top and it does have like all of their customer service on it as well so okay and I'm just going to go ahead and get this opened up for you guys so we can see, like, actually what I bought. Because I'm sure that's what everyone is here to see. Okay, so this is the purse, and I'm just going to go ahead and start by taking off all this um, plasticky stuff. Yeah. I'm just going to leave the tag on for now, even though this is a was like a clearance item, so I'm pretty sure this is not returnable. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all this other plastic out of the way as well. Um, but this is the purse. It's a really bright pink purse. I just love the color of it. And it's got this cute little sparkle detail right here. It's like a flower. And I just think this is so cute for summer. And I can tell that this is like a really nice like leather purse. And I am just going to go ahead and tell you what the full retail for this purse was. It was $329 originally, but I got it for about, I think, $45. So that is just a huge steal. And that's like with tax and stuff. And it does have a bunch of paper inside here, like all purses do when you first get them. Um... And, yeah. and I'm just going to go ahead and show you what the inside of the purse looks like. It's just kind of this detailing. And it's just kind of like the normal material that an inside of a purse would be. And it does have a couple of pockets. It's got one big pocket and then two po side pockets that you could kind of keep your phone in. I definitely think it was worth the money I paid for it, but I definitely wouldn't pay full retail for this. Just because I'm personally really bad with my purses. I don't take as good a care of them as I should. I put like water bottles in them or Diet Coke bottles and stuff. Um... And I have had one spill in my purse before. It doesn't happen very often, but it has happened. So I typically try to not spend more than $100 on a purse. And that would be like a really high amount for me to spend. I usually don't spend that much. Um, I usually spend like $30 to $40 on a purse. And I will have it for like six months to a year, depending on how good it lasts. But... I just really liked this springy color. This is just so bright and I just love it. 
Um, I just think it is really beautiful. Um, and I'm definitely glad that I purchased it. I just, I really love it. Um, and there really isn't anything else to say about it. It's got the three pockets and, um, it's got the Kate Spade logo on it, the, the little spade. And I just think this is a really classy looking purse too. But yeah, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about the purse, you can definitely go ahead and leave it down below. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and list all the makeup products that I have on my face today too down below. But if you have any questions, just leave them in the down bar. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.